Hello everybody, we have had Christmas. It has been absolutely amazing. And we are getting ready to step into our brand new Gregorian calendar year of 2024. God is getting our hearts ready for some amazing things that are getting ready to happen. He wants to use you in a mighty way. So we are coming up into a month of first fruits. It's a month where we're called to bring forth the lump or that which is whole and holy and then all things that come off of that lump or that hole is considered then to be holy. And so I want to share with you a scripture from Romans chapter 11, verse 12. This is actually in reference to uh, the Jews and the Gentiles. And the Apostle Paul uh, is talking about himself being an apostle to the Gentiles. And he's speaking about um, Israel and uh, the... Um, understanding that as, as they are holy, all things that come off of them is holy. This concept is also true for us as individuals. As we, as the temple of the Holy Spirit, represent holiness, then all things that we do represent holiness too as well. So let me read that to you. Romans uh, chapter 11 verse 16 says this, For if the first fruit is holy... The rest of the lump is holy, and if the root is holy, so are the branches. So this is talking about the core aspect, the core being. And a first fruit is a whole of something. It is not a part. It is not um, a piece. It is whole, and uh, it is all of something, okay? So when you become born again, and believe in Yeshua as your Lord and Savior, what happens is your spirit man becomes alive. And that is considered to be your Holy of Holies. And then your soul is uh, the um, the area which is considered to be um, around the Holy of Holies, okay? It would be called the inner court. And the soul is in a process of transformation. But if the inside the Holy of Holies area or your temple, the spirit, your spirit and the Holy Spirit on the inside of you is holy, then all else becomes holy, which means then your soul becomes holy and your flesh, your outer court then becomes holy. Okay. If the root system is knowing that you've been changed in Jesus, that root system then penetrates your soul area or your inner court, which then penetrates your flesh area or your body and everything you do. So if you are holy on the inside, then all that you do is holy. If your root is holy, then so are your branches, which means everything that you extend out. So we're coming into a month of holiness, a month of um, reconciliation, a month where we remember that we have been set apart, anointed, appointed, and called of God. The Lord has said that we, his children, are to be whole and holy, okay? So as we end up here, 2023, and we need to take some time, spend some time with the Lord, begin to journal, seek his heart, about what are some things that need to be changed in 2024? What are some things that you're not expressing a holiness in your branches or a holiness in your flesh, okay? What is it that you don't believe to be true about yourself and it's affecting your actions, okay? We're first internal and then we're external, okay? So what's holy on the inside then becomes holy on the outside. If you're dealing with habits and patterns and issues where your behavior needs to be modified, um, you need to have less anger, uh, there's addictive habits and things of that sort that need to be stopped, it's because what's going on externally uh, is where your focus is. You need to get more internal and go through a healing process and then bring that forth into the uh, external. And so this is a month where we pray, we fast, we give. It's a threefold cord, and I'm talking about the month of January. So we're ending up December, but we're getting ready to enter into the month of January. So it is a month where we are consecrating ourselves. We're setting ourselves apart for the Lord. We're um, saying, Lord, I want you to deal with me. Lord, I'm going to personally afflict myself 
which means I'm going to uh, fast, I'm going to pray, I'm going to stand, I'm going to seek you, I'm going to give, I'm going to do these things so that I can purify myself here in the first month of 2024 before I go into uh, the next year. And so um, this is a very, very important time. So whether you're watching this video here at the end of December, you're watching at the beginning of January, either way, it is a word for the fact that it's time to get with the Lord and begin to consecrate yourself and set yourself apart for the new year. When, ev when we set ourselves apart in wholeness, then that means everything that we do after that for every other month of the year is also sanctified. All right, so it's like you give yourself as a first fruit offering unto the Lord, and it's the whole of you. And if the lump is holy, right, then um, all the rest is holy. If the root is holy, then so are the branches. So it's time to say, you know what, we've had a great Christmas. We've had, I mean, we're still probably in that week here where, um, you know, there's a lot of fun activities. It's a happy new year. It's an exciting time. Uh, the Lord has released favor. Great things are happening. But it's also a time where we get our head focused on the fact that God is going to be taking us into a brand new year. And this year is going to bring forth greater glory, greater signs, miracles, and wonders. It's going to be a year where you can learn about the ascension and how you've ascended with Christ. You're seated with him in heavenly places. If you do not understand these concepts, this is the year to learn them. I'm spending a year uh, in my course, Ascend 2024. It's a course all about how to maximize your prophetic potential. You're welcome to join me every month on a Zoom call. Is going to be a great opportunity for me to get to know you, you to get to know me, and you to learn to switch your thinking, your mind, to living above all the time. When you do that, what happens is a wholeness comes upon you because the mind and the spirit is life and peace. When the mind and the spirit is life and peace, then all else is life and peace. And so it's an exciting time to learn how to live in the realms of the ascension. Whew, I feel the presence of God right now. When you learn to live in the realms of the ascension, you have joy, you have peace. This is where God wants you to be. He does not want you to be consumed about your circumstances. He does not want you to be responding to everything externally, but instead know on the inside of you your level of holiness, to have a mind that's aligned with God in a place of perfection, and then begin to move into what it is that he has for you. So I want you to join me for this course. The first one is January 2nd at 10 a.m. or 6 p.m. Eastern. Just go to my website at candacesmithman.com and you'll see the banner rotating there. There's a discount code, SA1. Go ahead and put that in because I want to see you with me starting out a brand new year. We're going to walk through this year together. We're going to learn to rise. We're going to learn to be sons and daughters of the King. Come on, this is what it's all about. We're going to learn to live in this place of freedom. We're going to learn to live in a place of peace and not toil where the enemy is coming to kill, steal, and destroy. We're going to be far above that. Come on, some of you need to learn some, some strategies against the enemy, but it's not always fighting so much. It's resting. And guess what? He goes away. He goes away. If he has no one to fight with, he flees, right? He can punch at you and he can poke at you. You say, stop. But you, you rise above. You rise above. It's a beautiful place of peace. So I want you to join me for that uh, this year. And of course, get a copy of my brand new book, 365 Prophetic Revelations from the Hebrew Calendar. Um, there's also an MP3 set where you can learn all about why do Christians need to know and understand the Hebrew Calendar. I've got a, a free book sample and a free download. Just click the links below and you can get a copy of the free right? But you're going to want to get a copy of the book and you're going to want to get all 13 um, MP3 downloads so you can learn and grow. Now, every month in my class, I'll be sharing a special word from the Hebrew calendar too. So you're going to learn also about the Hebrew calendar as much as you're going to learn about ascending, as much as you're going to meet other people. It's going to be a great time for you. Whew, I'm getting excited. I want to pray for you right now because we're coming into the end of a year and the beginning of a new year. It's time to call ourselves into that place of consecration and holiness 
God has great plans for us. So Father, I praise you and I thank you right now for the time of promotion. I thank you for the favor release. I thank you, Father, we're stepping into 2024 and we're doing it, Lord, with a tenacity and a a perseverance. We're going to press into your heart, Father. We're going to know who you really are and not because we're trying to transact something with you, Father, but just because of who we are in you. We're going to come into a place of healing and wholeness, a place of consecration and being set apart, a place where our spiritual gifts are going to be advancing, a place of ascension where we make our decisions, where we learn to pray from a place of authority and a place of hovering over our issues instead of always going head on. Lord, I thank you right now and I feel the presence of the Lord. Just release your hands right now. Lift up your hands right now. Father, I just speak life over those who are watching right now i speak life in the mighty name of yeshua the lord says rise right now some of you even have been uh, in a place of death there's death to your body death to your mind right now death in relationships in the mighty name of yeshua i say rise right now i say kum i say rise above and abino be seated with him in heavenly places he has a great plan and purpose for you father i thank you lord for your fire coming upon those that are watching right now i just speak fire over you who hallelujah and glory and strength in the mighty name of yeshua i just speak that there would be a relief of the heavenly treasuries that there would be grain wine and oil grain is revelation wine is new opportunities and oil is the anointing of heaven coming upon you glory father we praise you and we thank you lord just feel that release right now i see gold and silver being released right now hallelujah there's angels being released in the month of january i want you to know that i've encountered my new angel for 2024 and we had quite the encounter in one of my dreams just a few nights ago and so i know that um, he is with me watching me um, helping me with the opportunities that god has for me he's protecting me he's going to be going with me to other nations this year Um, and i'm just going to speak that god will reveal to you in visions and dreams uh, your angel for 2024 Um, you've gone to new heights you've gone to new levels with god and there's new angels there uh, to be with you for those new levels. Whew, glory, hallelujah, I feel that right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, um, just give uh, give what's necessary for those who do not know the angelic hosts that are working alongside them, Lord, uh, in the earth for revival, uh, for healing, Lord. And listen, if you have questions about angels, you just need to, to um, go on my website, get my book, Angels of Fire, get my MP3 downloads, on the angels of fire learn about how to sense angels understand angels you have angels that are working with you this year who hallelujah healing angels who the yellow ones the orange ones the blue ones find out about these things oh hallelujah i just feel a fire of the lord right now just receive healing in your body right now i see some people being healed of digestive disorders right now who hallelujah digestive disorders thank you jesus small intestinal disorders right now being healed In the mighty name of Yeshua, any Crohn's disease, anything of this sort, who glory. Liver, kidneys right now be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart disease, Father, we praise you and we thank you. Hallelujah. Any any difficulty with hearing right now, any popping in your ears, any tinnitus right now, I say release in the mighty name of Yeshua. Release that you might hear right now. Who hallelujah. (laughs) Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Just sit in his glory. Just sit in his presence. He's so amazing. He's so awesome. And listen, this is where you can be every day. You can live in this ascension place every day. I do. I live there every day. Living in this earth realm, living in the soulish realm, ah, forget it. You don't want to spend any time here if you're not already there. So be there and then make the deposit here. That's it. Do not let this place rule you. This place does not have the power to rule you. Your rulership and your headship come from being <laughs> seated with Christ in heavenly places. Full glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel his presence. I feel his presence. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Somebody needs to hear this message. Go and share this with a friend today so that they know it's time to start getting your lives in order for 2024. I wish you a very, very happy new year. I wish you many, many blessings. And listen, this is your year to ascend. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is your year to ascend. 
God is doing great things and you can't realize the fullness of what he's doing until you learn how to live from this space and place. You're going to walk and do signs, miracles, and wonders when you can learn to stay there. Folks, this is possible. I want you to know that. Um, I am going to be speaking in a, so many places between January and December next year. Um, but in January, I'm going to be in Hesperian, California on January uh, 4th. I'm going to be in Houston, Texas on January 12th, 13th, and 14th with um, Andy McDougall. I'm going to be um, in also in Houston, Texas again, 18 through the 20th with the Freedom Tour with Jenny Donnelly and Pastor Kelly Gray. At the end of the month, I'm going to be ministering in Virginia with Pastor Barb Shaw. And um, that uh, ministry, there's going to be a variety of different ministries um, in, in Timberville, Virginia, um, Harrisonburg, Virginia. So I'll be around that area at the end of the month as well. In February, I'm going to be coming to South Africa. So if you're in South Africa, I'm going to be so excited to see you. I'll be in Johannesburg uh, from about February 13th to about the 20th and I'll be in Cape Town from about the 20th to the 28th. I know I'm going to be ministering. My husband and I both are co coming. We're going to be ministering with Gustav de Toy the last weekend. Um, uh, Loftal International. So I'll be there. Um, and then there's some other places uh, in Johannesburg. So make sure you keep up with me. And then um, there's more to come. In March, I'm going to be in Sweden. Uh, there's just lots on the calendar. So make sure you sign up for my um, email list so that you know where I'm at. So you can come see me. I want to meet you. I want to give you a hug. Um, make sure you order a copy of my book. Listen, if you want to know every single day a prophetic revelation from the hebrew calendar where you can just like open it up and there you get a prophetic word right there every single day come on right according to god's hebrew calendar you do not want to miss that so five years of prophetic words that are relative to each and every day on the hebrew calendar grab a copy of that um, the book is not formally released until February 6th, and then it'll be in all bookstores all over the world. But prior to that, um, you have to order it through my website, um, as well as the MP3 downloads. Those are only um, through my website. So I'm super excited. All right, Lord, I praise you, and I thank you for those that are watching. Share this with a friend. Be blessed. Be consecrated, anointed, and appointed. 2024, offer yourselves as a first fruit. Remember, where the lump is holy, right? Everything that comes after it is. Where the root is holy, the branches are holy. Be holy here, and then everything you do will be holy. All right, be blessed. We'll see you next week. And join me for my class now, because that's January 2nd. All right, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.